How's it going, everyone? So I wanted to give you an update on my channel and like what I've been kind of doing. Um, I haven't really been publishing that many videos on my channel over the past couple of weeks. Mainly it's because I went on a week-long vacation and like getting everything ready for that vacation and then I was off for seven days. And coming back, I still have that vacation mindset where it's like, I, do I really want to do more work to build stuff on my channel that I've already built before and already talked about? But I am working on like a little multiplayer game, which you have this little player who can move around. Um, I might as well just demo that. So like, as you can tell, I got two tabs open. I got two players. I got a camera that follows the player. And you can see that person get interpolated as he walks around. But this video is not really about the game. This video is just kind of an update about my channel. Okay, so showing you my analytics, I mean, just to kind of show you, like, I was going hardcore, like, publishing content all the time on this channel. And then this past month, like, October or so, I kind of haven't been doing it as much. If you look here, I'm, like, publishing maybe a video, like, once or twice every week. So I do plan to get back into the swing of things, but I still have that vacation mindset. And also, holidays are coming up, so probably won't be making as much content um, as well. But another reason why I'm also not making that much content is I did start a new project at work. And I'm not going to get into details about the project other than it's using Django and Python for the, the application side of things. Granted, that doesn't really affect me much because if you don't know, I'm kind of like a DevOps engineer at this point. Like I'm always tasked to work on the Terraform code. I'm always tasked to do the infrastructure as code. Um, and so like the fact that it is Django, I was a little bit disappointed at first because I've been trying to learn Next.js and teach it on my channel for like years now with the hopes that I would eventually get a project or get hired to do Next.js development. But ultimately, I think this is a good thing for me because it's forcing me to kind of go back to the traditional server-side rendering type of thing, learn a little bit more about Python and Django, which I think will be good. It'll be a good learning experience. I do have my hesitations about using Python just because it's like a dynamically typed language. And I think there's just so much benefit to using TypeScript or any type of, you know, somewhat strongly typed language as well. We'll see how it goes. I mean, for the most part, I've just been working on the DevOps side of things for right now. And there's a lot more that goes into work than just like the coding aspect. There's like communication with your team. There's planning. There's documentation. There's just a lot. And so like the Python Django thing is such a small portion of the app that I'm not really worried about it. But I guess thinking about that, I wanted to have a discussion about like when it comes to software engineering, I've been doing this for a while now, and often we sit down and try to learn a particular stack, but you realize that it doesn't matter what stack you know because you're going to just take the job and learn the tools that are needed for the job, right? Every project in this industry is completely different. Some people are using different tooling um, than other projects. Some people use Rust, some people use Go, and even outside of that, some teams use completely different software for like the the project management side of things. So you have to like learn all these different tools so that you can be efficient with your team and communicating. You also have to learn how to work with new people and how to like get a feel for, you know, what are they good at? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? Who should I reach out to if I have a question about X, Y, or Z? So I'll say this new project I've been switched over to, I'm kind of excited for it because it's just like a new perspective in my career. And I've been on the old project for about five or six years now. I don't think I mentioned that in this video, but my past project, I spent almost six years from the ground up, like from no code written all the way to half a million plus more lines of code written with tons of infrastructure as code, tons of complexity. And that old project, although is like a great learning experience, when you get to a certain size in your software project, making refactoring changes or just trying to pivot to do anything new with the tech stack that was picked, it's so much work. Like imagine you have half a million lines of code and you want to switch from one database system to another, which is actually something that we tried to work towards before I switched off that project. It takes like months of work. I think we spent like two or three months just trying to investigate using a different type of database. And we only managed to move over a single model to that new approach. So it's just a completely different vibe to it. Like when you're on a large scale project or a larger scale project versus like a smaller scale project, the small scale project like that's brand new you just feel like you're actually contributing and like making progress and having some type of like a velocity with shipping features versus a larger project. It just feels like you're, you're moving through molasses is what I describe it as the larger the project, the slower you move through it. And I think that's one thing as a software engineer, you have to like really keep in mind 
is that you have to learn how to be patient because some of these projects and companies you're going to be hired to, you're going to have to like weed through tons and tons and tons of stuff, like tons of code, tons of documentation, half the stuff you read, you don't understand because it has tons of acronyms and you just have to have patience, right? GPT is not going to help you through it. AI is not going to help you through it. You just have to kind of piece it all together yourself. So honestly, this talk didn't have much direction other than just giving you guys an update. But again, I do want to work more on building out maybe an online multiplayer game. I might start a community project for that if you guys are interested, but it's still in the works. And with uh, the holidays coming up, I don't know how much progress I will make on it. Second thing is, if you look through all my descriptions of my videos, I kind of took down all my side projects. Like I took down links to my Web Difficulty Starter Kit. I took down links to Project Planner AI. I took down the links to my icon generator. I also removed the links to my scary story generator and the other thing I've been working on. I think I just reached a point where I'm just like tired. I'm just legit. I'm not even burned out. I love coding. I love building stuff. I'm just like emotionally and mentally tired of trying to juggle all these different things, trying to build these SaaS products and market them and try to get people to view it and try to get people to subscribe. And like, honestly, I'm just enjoying my time just like getting off of work and not coding anymore. <laughs> like it's a, it's a terrible thing to say, especially when I run a YouTube channel uh, for, for my side project. But that's the honest truth is like, like the amount of work I put into this channel and the amount of work I do to like make more things and try to become successful, it's just draining. And so I'm just kind of giving myself that grace period of just like relaxing, just giving myself space to breathe. It's kind of like a hiatus and also starting a new project at work is allowing me to, ex you know, scratch that itch that I typically have with my YouTube channel. The reason I do my YouTube channel is so that I have a reason to learn new things and then teach it to you all. But unfortunately, my channel is very niche down to React and Next.js. And at this point, I'm kind of just like, I don't want to make another Next.js tutorial video. I don't want to go and learn about Veet and talk to you all about Veet. I don't want to go and learn about Tanstack router and like teach you how to build an application with that. It's like literally the same stuff over and over again. And I'm just tired of it. And also I'm just tired of like trying to be successful in terms of like an indie hacker standpoint. The whole point of this channel was for me, like this channel is for me to have fun and just build stuff. And I think I need to like reflect upon that and get back to my roots because at some point I was chasing views, I was chasing numbers and metrics, but ultimately this was for me, this is like my outlet to really experiment with coding and kind of like become a better developer and get better at communicating. Getting better at communicating and speaking was actually one of the goals of this channel because you watch my video and there's like edits all the time. You'll see, if you watch my videos, you'll see that I edit out all the bad parts because I'm just not good at speaking. I'm just not very good at like having a stream of consciousness discussion without having ums or hiccups. I've gotten better at it and I can go longer periods in my videos without having to like edit away the bad parts. But overall, that was like one of the goals of this channel was to get better at communicating my ideas in terms of engineering, to teach you all how to code and teach you all how to think like engineers. And I need to just remind myself that that was like the original reason why I got into this channel. And it's not about chasing the numbers. It's not about niching down to Next.js because I know that's going to get me the, the most numbers, which is another reason why, as you may have noticed, I've been switching over slowly to game development. I've been inspired by the Prime Engine. Um, I watch this stuff. I'm just, it's nice that he's able to like work on games and stream it. Like that would be really cool to be able to do. Um, I'm not good at it, but it's something that I enjoyed. I've always tried to build games. Even when I was like younger, back in middle school and high school, I tried coding an online Java game. Like I used Java. And uh, I remember one time in computer class, we had like five different kids who were all playing together my game and running around on a map. So this is back in high school, right? And fast forward to today, I should have a lot more experience. I should be able to actually build something and see it done through completion. And that's always been a goal. It's like, can I build a game that like people play, that people enjoy playing and uh, just get that deployed out there? Because I already know how to build websites, right? I've been doing that for a long time. I know how to build websites, web applications. I know how to get them deployed out. I know the infrastructure's code, the Terraform stuff, the AWS stuff. And I've been doing it for so long that I'm like tired of it, but it pays the bills, right? So I need to get good at it. But in terms of making a game, like this is something that I've just always in my whole, my, my whole life, I've always just wanted to build a game and actually finish it. Like if you go back to my Git repo, I have so many abandoned projects, this project after project after project that I tried working on. And then after two weeks, I give up because... I don't know, maybe I have ADHD 
or I just don't have the drive to actually finish it. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that I have this ability to actually stay focused on something for a long time. And I think that last project I was on at work for being there for five, six years, I have convinced myself that if I just think about finishing something, like if I just stick to it, I can get it done eventually. Anyway, this was like a giant rant. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on. Um, but yeah, everything's been going good. I've been having fun just working on this little game and been having fun uh, just relaxing and not coding after work. That's been great. I just sit down and do absolutely nothing sometimes after work. And that's been nice. But anyway, I guess just let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. <laughs> what are you guys up to? What are you guys learning? And also let me know if there's a particular direction you want me to take this channel. Right now I'm having fun just kind of building out some games. And I'm just going to keep doing it until I lose all my subscribers and all my viewers. But it is what it is. I'm doing this for me. And I hope you guys are eager to join on the journey. Have a good day. Happy coding.